What do you think of when you hear the word deviance? Do you think of facial piercings or tattoos? Or do you think of clowns or nudists? Adulterers, maybe? Um, every answer is correct within certain circumstances, contexts, and cultures. Uh, we all have different ideas of what constitutes deviant behavior based on the way we were raised and how we were socialized throughout our lives. So, what precisely are we examining when we objectively analyze an individual's behavior? Phenomenological theory states that there is no way to analyze behavior with 100% objectivity and that in reality we should only be studying the subjective experience of the individual. A morbid but clear example of this logic presents itself in the determination of suicides versus accidental deaths. Uh, doctors and coroners often disagree among themselves uh, on the identification of suicide because it hinges on the individual's intent to die, which is obviously impossible to confirm after death. So, for this reason, um, phenomenological theory can perhaps be better interpreted as a phenomenological perspective, um, as its original developers would agree that every certainty is questionable. Phenomenology requires one to consider the subjectivity of both the labeler and the labeled when studying deviance. Uh, the phenomenological theory or perspective was founded in the early 1900s by Edmund Husserl, a philosopher who described phenomenology as a doctrine of essences, uh, which was more concerned with what things are and not whether they are. With that in mind, a phenomenologist would have an understanding that sociological methodology should be focusing first on the individual's own conscious experience because we construct our own realities and therefore construct our own version of deviance. Um, phenomenology holds up subjective experience to light in order to get to the true deviant reality. Ethnography is the style of research that concerns itself with the understanding of meanings ascribed to deviant behavior by the subjects themselves. Uh, subjects cannot be understood as objects like a positivist perspective would suggest. Instead, phenomenologists normally conduct in-depth interviews with subjects and ask them why they behave the way they do and how they feel about their actions and the actions of others. Now, while phenomenologists will criticize the positivist perspective for suggesting they conduct objective research on deviant reality, they too must fail to reach such a conclusion. Since phenomenology accepts that human reality is subjective, a phenomenological researcher can only study one version of this reality. Therefore, even though they study a different piece of the puzzle, it doesn't necessarily make it a better puzzle piece to study. Even so, credit is due to the scholars who have established a new perspective to broaden our lens for understanding deviant behavior. And as we add more angles from which to view deviant behavior, the moralistic understanding we'll have of them. Thanks for watching.